All right, guys, what in the parallel is going on here? We're going to be doing parallel circuits today. Um, this one's a little bit tougher. I'm going to show you how to do things in steps. I'm going to move around a little bit so we can kind of work these in steps. We can practice doing the steps together. Um, since they're parallel circuits, let's go ahead and take a look at what they look like. Here's an example of what a parallel circuit can look like. So we've got like some branches here, but then they split, okay? And, they, and these two circuits, uh, these resistors are in parallel. They're parallel to one another. They look like they're never going to touch, right? Okay, look, here's another way to see a parallel circuit. So kind of like rungs in a ladder, but the important thing is that the resistors, and I didn't draw these resistors out too well, but the resistors look like they are parallel to one another. Okay, so it's resistor one, two, and three. Okay, so let's start at the top here. Okay, to get the equivalent resistance, what we first need to do is identify, okay, this is parallel. So I go to my parallel circuit, equivalent resistance, that's the total, right? So look here, this is kind of a weird equation. One over resistance total equals one over resistance one plus et cetera, right? So this is how we're going to set it up. We have this equation here, one over our resistance total for parallel series or parallel circuit is one over our first resistance plus one over the reciprocal of the second. So this is the reciprocal means the flipped version. Okay, so let's plug this in. Resistor one is three, so I'm going to put one over three. Resistor two is three as well, one over three. Okay, so when we add these up, you can put it in your calculator by doing this. One divided by three in the parentheses plus one divided by three. Okay, that's how you want to plug that in. Okay, so when you get that, you end up getting two-thirds, or in your calculator, you're like 0.666. But look here, this was not our resistance total. This is one over our resistance total. Okay, so to get resistance total by itself, we have to flip it. Okay, you have to flip it. So that means you just flip the fraction. You flip the fraction, so you get 3 over 2 ohms is our equivalent resistance, 3 over 2 ohms. Or in your calculator, you would put this in, and this is how you could do this in your calculator. Not that, don't worry about that. Okay, in your calculator, you would take this answer, this 0.66, and you would take 1 divided by 0.66, and you should get 0.5. So you see 1 divided by 0.66 you get about 1.5, so you take your, you do that. That's how you flip in the calculator. You take your answer that you get from do, doing this, and then one divided by answer. Okay, let's go down and do the equivalent resistance here. Okay, equivalent resistance for this circuit. So let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and just skip straight to the step. One over resistance total. Let's go ahead and plug them in. Here's the reciprocal, the sum of the reciprocal of all these resistors. So I go one third plus one third plus one third, right? Okay, so that's one, two, three, three thirds. And of course we have to flip it, but of course it's just going to be the same thing, right? So three over three. And what's anything divided by itself? One, right? So one ohm would be our equivalent resistance. So what happens as we add resistors to this, the circuit when we do parallel? This was about 1.5, right? 1.5 ohms. That's bigger than one ohm. So what happens to the overall equivalent resistance? It goes down, right? The equivalent resistance went down because we added another resistor to the series. Okay, there's more space for the electricity to kind of spread out, so it's going to give a little bit less resistance. All right. Now, so this is how you would actually draw this if you're going to do the equivalent resistance for this guy. You can redraw this as a single resistor circuit, like that. Okay, we did this on the quiz the other day with series. This is how you do it for parallel. Same thing. When you do equivalent resistance, when you're redrawing, you just want to draw it with a single resistor that shows the total. We put 1.5 ohms. So this is our total resistance. This is our total voltage. Remember that voltage is the same for every resistor in parallel. In series, the current was the same for everybody, but in uh, parallel, it's the voltage. Okay, so here we go. Now what are we missing here? We're looking for the total current, right? So to find the total current, we have to use the total voltage, which was over the total resistance. Okay, so the total voltage we're going to get from our battery still. 12 over, and what's our resistance total? 1.5. So what do we get when we multiply, when we divide those? Get 8. Get 8 amps. And remember that the unit for current is amps. So total current. 8 amps. Let's go down here. Let's redraw the schematic diagram for this. Let's see if we collapse these guys. So we want to make show just the totals in the collapsed schematic diagram. 
10 volts for a battery and what was the total resistance? You make it, condense it into just one resistor, one ohm, right? Okay, so now this is our total resistance. This is our total voltage. So let's figure out our current total for this guy. V over R, make sure these are both totals. So we got 10 over 1. What does that come out to? That's easy, right? 10 divided by 1 is just 10, 10 amps, right? Nasty. That's not right. That's 10 volts. Well, you, let, you guys let me do that? Okay. Let's change this up a little bit. Let's say we didn't want to do this like this. Let's change the number up because I don't like just using threes all the time. Let's move this guy out and let's use a six instead. Okay, so how would we have to write this for the equivalent resistance here? We would have to do, remember one over the resistance total, the equivalent resistance is the reciprocals, the sum of the reciprocals, so one over three plus another one over three plus one over six this time. You put that in your calculator and that ends up being Five over six is the fraction. And of course, we have to flip. It's six over five ohms, right? Or if you're doing the calculator, you would do it's 0 0.83. So 0.83 is what this comes out to be. And if you're going to do the reciprocal of that, you divide it by one divided by answer. You get 1.2. One point two. Okay, so now let's see our total resistance. It's one point two. So let's go ahead and work the rest of it like this. One point two ohms. All right. Our total voltage ten volts. Ten volts. Okay. Total current though. Let's go ahead and do the schematic diagram for this guy. Schematic diagram. Draw a box. Ten volts. Up here, single resistor of one point two ohms. Okay, so these are our totals. This is the total resistance, voltage total. So let's figure out the current total. The voltage total over resistance total. We get 10 over 1.2. Let's see what we get. We get 8.3 amps of current. Hmm. That makes sense. And it shouldn't make sense. Hold on, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, okay, fine. Okay, total current, 8.3. Now, this does not hold true for every single one of these resistors. Okay, It's not going to be the same current for every resistor. Just like a river having to take a, a turn here, the river is going to split half of it. Some of it will go this way, some of it will go the other way. So let's figure out the current at each resistor. Remember, the voltage is going to be the same, but the, the current will not. So right here, the voltage is going to be 12 volts and 12 volts. Okay, this is the voltage. It's going to be the same. Okay, now let's figure out the current. So the current at resistor 1. The current at resistor 1. So current for 1 has to be equal to the voltage at 1 divided by the resistance at 1. So what's the voltage? Remember, the voltage for parallel is going to be the same for everybody. What's the resistance at resistor 1? It's 3, right? 12 divided by 3 gets you 4 amps. Okay. How about this one over here? Since it's the exact same, we're going to do the exact same thing. Okay. Current at 2, I2. I2 equals V2 over R2, R2D2 again. Okay. Remember, voltage 2 is 12 volts. And the current or the resistance at two is still three ohms. So we're going to get four. And so that current, look what happens. Four plus four gets you what? Eight. Good. Let's come down here. Let's do these now. And the voltage should be what? Ten volts for everybody. Okay, let's do the current now for each one. Okay. So we got 10 volts of current at 1 equals voltage 1 over resistance 1. We get voltage 1 10 volts over what's the resistance at 1? 6. So 10 divided by 6 gives you 1.6 amps. 
Okay, over here, let's do the current at two. All right, so we get 10 divided by what's the resistance at two? Three, so we get what? 10 divided by three, 3.3. And this one is also three ohms, so guess what we're gonna get? 10 over three again. We're gonna get 3.3, repeating. If we add all these up, plus 1.6, we get about 8.3. So that's what these all add up to. Okay, so let's recap. Schematic diagram, you compress it down by finding the totals of everything. You find the total resistance by doing the reciprocal, add them up, you flip it at the end, or you can add it up in the calculator and divide by one. Divide the answer, put it over one. Okay. Then, remember that your total voltage is the same for everybody. So if it's a 12 volt battery, it's gonna be 12 volts across this resistor and across this resistor. Remember the current splits though. The current is not the same in a parallel circuit. The river has to split to go down every single creek or every single pipe. And you figure that out by doing the current one, you use the voltage one, and divide it by the resistance one. So this is real similar to how you were defining voltage in a series circuit. You have to solve for the variable you're looking for. All right, bye-bye.